genetics based problem 17 in this problem a woman she is heterozygous for a disease Tay-Sex that is a recessive disorder so that woman is heterozygous for this disease what are the chances of her giving birth to a child with that disease if father is normal and the father is homozygous dominant the disease is actually recessive and she is heterozygous for that disease while her husband or the father of the child is normal that is homozygous dominant so based on this information we have to find out chances of giving birth to a carrier so in this case woman she is heterozygous because the disease is recessive and she is normal if she is normal she has two alleles one is dominant and second allele is recessive while on the other hand male he was normal so he has both dominant alleles so there will be no chance of the child with the disease but there would be 50 percent chance of the carriers if we draw the punit square we can answer to this question that in case of woman she has one capital T one small t mean one dominant allele and one recessive allele while on the other hand father is dominant and homozygous so the alleles of father would be capital T and capital T so as a result if we draw the punit square it will be capital small then capital capital then capital T and small t so based on this information we can say that there is no chance of a of a child with the disease because the disease is a recessive so recessive disease would be if there are both recessive alleles but we can see here that none of the genotype is with recessive alleles so no chance of a child with the disease although there are 50 percent chance of the carriers so these two individuals they are the carriers of the, this disease these two they are they are heterozygous and they are carrier of this disease so based on the punit square information we can conclude that no chance of a child with the disease although there would be 50 percent carriers